I love how you like scream your name in your set. songs. Oh, set. You gotta let them know your presence. You gotta give them your presence. You Is that where they came the from? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the building. I'm letting you know. I love that so much. What does the name Offset mean? So Offset means to me, mm -hmm. it's just on a different level of everybody else. Ah, like Offset, like set aside from everybody. Exactly. I feel you. Everybody don't get that too, you special. Come everybody on. Everybody don't get that. I love that and that confidence. Now, you've been making music for like over a decade, but this is the part I gotta get into because you know Whitney Houston's my favorite. You danced? In the Whitney Houston video, you danced with her? Yes, when I was uh, eight years old. Eight years old? Yes, God is good. Ain't he something? Yes. Um, how that came about is like my mama seen like a billboard sign uh -huh. saying like you could come try out. And then so I pulled up and then she, I remember my mama told me, I never forget, she like, when the music come on, just go out there and do your thing. <laughs> And I was like smaller than everybody. Everybody was like 11 or something like that. I was eight and I did it. And then I remember she came from the back and pointed me out. Oh, she did? Yeah, and then when we did, when we shot the video, um, she was just a nice, sweet soul. She was a nice, sweet soul. Bobby Brown was cool too. He was making us laugh. Wow, like, so you got to cool. meet Whitney and Bobby. Yeah, both of them. And then I got a lot of um, cameos too. Look so at I that. I felt like I did my thing once I got older and seen that and noticed that. God's good. Though. Yes, he is, and you've yeah. been on the roll ever since. Yes. Okay, and I also heard you love all the greats. You love Michael Jackson growing He's up as a kid. He is the greatest. Does he inspire you? Like, how does he inspire you? Uh, he inspires me um, with fashion and also his drive of creativity mm -hmm. and, and pushing himself to go to the next level and like just coming from like how the same way I came from a group and how we were fa we were family oriented mm -hmm. and then being able to. Cause it's hard, you know, like jumping out there by yourself. That's you know true. what I'm saying? When you're so used to one thing, but and just pushing yourself and pushing your creativity to a next level, maybe somebody else don't might understand. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had a couple obstacles where I feel like some people ain't um, believing me how I believed in me, and then you just gotta show them. Right. And so he was big on that and, and perfection. Mm -hmm. You can never be perfect, but working on your craft or trying to become better at something and not being complacent. Like I've been in the game ten years. Very successful. God is good with that, but I want more too. It's not. It's not. It's not. I'm not at a level where I feel like I'm comfortable. Mm. I want to keep pushing myself to see how far I can take this train. You know what? And you taking it. You doing that. But that's so inspirational. Then you recently opened up about overcoming certain vices and tapping more into your creativity. Like, yes. tell me about that journey. So. Um, at the beginning of my career, you know, I'm young and mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm, I'm first getting some success and. I was drinking lean a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And so for a minute, my younger brain would tell me like, this is what's giving me the sauce to put on the songs. Mm -hmm. But I started to see it affect my family. I got five kids, you know, I gotta be a grown man. I gotta take care of the house. And, um, and I seen that and the people that love me the most, like my mama would yeah. tell me like, hey son, you know, you stronger than that. You need to, you need to, you need to shake that. And then when I shook it, um, I was able to make hard fire songs and I felt like I could I could record in the daytime and I could get more things accomplished and then I would notice people tell me like my attitude or how I'm speaking is is more clear or I don't seem agitated and I love that feeling from hearing that from other people. And um so like for all my young people that 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 they got a little habit that you need to shake, shake it and become a better person. That just gave Because it's not just for you, it's for the people around you, the people that love you. Yes. What women in your life have impacted your journey? Um, my grandmother, R.I.P. to her, she passed from, um, she passed from cancer before I, I could make that. it, but she was the one who believed, like, you know, when you're young and you're trying to do music and, mm -hmm. you know, your mom and them ain't gonna really push you to, they're trying to push you to go to school or something like that. My grandma told me, like, she believed and she knew I would make it, mm -hmm. right? And so, and also my mother, um, my Aunt Jackie, my Aunt Susie Mae, we country, so we got a little country, little name. I love that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was raised just by a bunch of women to be a strong man. Yeah. You know what I mean, I feel like a black woman is nothing like it. They 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 could they could touch your soul a different way and help you understand yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to I want to salute you. Thank you. Um, you been you you been through a lot in your journey and, and you overcame so many obstacles and you're doing your thing. This is a beautiful place. Big dog status. The furniture's fire in here. Uh oh. Hello. Uh oh. I got all set approval. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for that. I don't take that lightly coming from you, okay? That means a lot. And then you are a 
father of five. Yeah. Like, how has fatherhood played a role in um, the man you are today? Yes, it's the, it's the main role. Yes. It's, it's my thoughts when I'm walking and everything I'm doing, I, I'm always consecutive, always thinking about that because I represent them. I don't just represent me no more. Mm. And it's hard, you know, especially in the entertainment, being able to uh, travel all the time. And, but I'm, I'm in tune with my kids. I'm making, I'm making school pickups. Two days ago, I dropped my daughter off to school and picked her up. Aww. Um, I'm, I'm making those efforts. That is beautiful. Making the efforts, because, you know, uh, growing up, I was raised, like I said, by women. And uh, my, 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 my father, I love him. Ain't no hate toward him, but you know, Unfortunately, he couldn't be there, so I made sure I gave a promise to myself when I was a kid, before I had kids, that no matter any circumstance, I'm gonna make sure I'm there for my, for my children. And it shows, because all my children excel in school, in sports, and mm. ain't no trouble. God bless mm. me. Thank you, God, so. Yes, we need more examples like you in that way. That is so beautiful. Are any of your kids musical like you? Yes, my son, Jordan, he surprised me like last Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, he pulled out his computer and Fruity Loops is a program where you produce, you know, uh -huh. it's a program where you produce and he like, daddy, can I play you a beat? And oh, like, he's playing beats. And huh? so he plays me a beat, but then he makes it in front of me. And I'm like, wow. you're 12, man, you, how you know how to do that? Mm. He was like, I just been practicing. I had got the, I got the program and I've been practicing and it sounded good. Oh. But I'm I'm a, I'm type that that's I'm, I'm very tough on my kids about like achievements because mm -hmm. I don't want you to ever think it's easy because the world ain't easy in real life, in real life it ain't easy out here. So you teach them the right thing. Even though they have they have like the luxury of maybe being able to get some things that kid other mm -hmm. kids ain't get. I want them to understand the significance of hard work mm. and like just because you, you I told him I told him you making beats you need to lock in and focus on and create your own sound and like. It sounds all right. I do that on purpose, though, because I'm a father, so I'm going to be a little tough on my boys, because <laughs> I want them to understand, like, it ain't, nothing was given. Right. I remember when I was doing shows for uh, $400 and had to split it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like spending the gas money to get to a place that's far in the country, yeah. in, in Georgia, to go make the same money to spend on the gas to come back home. Right. Just to get your face out. The that's hustle. What, it was the hustle. So the I want to make sure my kids ain't never thinking, like, oh, because... My dad is successful that I could just be successful. It don't work like that. You got to put the work and the grind in. You know what? You're a great teacher and a great example. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.